Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K and this is my computerized vortex ring generator. This smoke ring generator is based on an idea by Bill Beatty. I'll leave a link to his website in the description. Instead of using a large bag to force air out of the smoke ring generator, like in my larger version or the Airzuka toys, uh, this uses a speaker and a sawtooth wave to cause little puffs of air. This replaces the big bag and also lets you have a high rate of fire from your smoke ring generator. Here I'm firing rings at 12 per second. Now it's 16 rings per second. And now at 32 rings per second. It doesn't look like there's very many smoke rings coming out of this. But you'll see in a second in the high speed footage that they're all there. Going from left to right you can see 32, 16 and 8 rings per second all filmed in slow motion. I've synchronized them so that you can see the smoke rings all move at the same speed regardless of how many rings per second are being made. This is why the rings at 32 rings per second don't travel very far. As they slow down the rings behind them bump into them and they annihilate each other. The rings coming at 8 rings per second have lots of room so when they slow down there isn't a ring immediately behind them to combine and make the two disappear. You can make a compact portable version of the smoke ring generator by taping up the open end of a plastic cup and putting a hole in the bottom. Just tapping that tape will cause smoke rings. If you tap it hard enough it can even blow out candles at a distance. One of the interesting things about vortex rings is they're scalable. You can make them as small as a millimeter, you can make them a few feet like these ones, and you can make them several hundreds of feet like the ones that you see from the blast of an atomic bomb or from an erupting volcano. All the vortex rings I've shown you until now are in air, but you can make these vortex rings in pretty much any low viscosity fluid. Here I'm making small rings using uh, glycol mixed with a, a little dye and a little water to thin it out just by dripping it into the surface of a fish tank. If you want to learn how to make your own vortex ring launcher or just read a little more into the subject check out my link to Bill Beatty's page in the subject. Thanks for watching.